got a beat on the top line, Julia. I also see DAUs look to have exceeded expectations as well. What do you see? That's right. A beat on the top line. The earnings number is not comparable, and daily active users better than expected. Just to go through the numbers here, revenue is coming in at $32.17 billion versus estimates of $31.53 billion. What's essential here is revenue declined by about 4% from the year-ago quarter. Analysts expected revenue to decline by about 6.5%, so better revenue performance than anticipated. Um, the daily active user numbers hitting $2 billion versus $1.99 billion estimated. So better than expected daily active user growth, of course, in light of competition from TikTok, that was an area in, in focus. The company also announcing restructuring charges. So this is not a surprise considering the fact um, that the company did do layoffs in the quarter. So they're taking a $4.2 billion restructuring charge that's related to facilities consolidation, the layoffs, and also what they call a pivot towards a next generation data center design. They're talking about doing a data center that is going to um, have better uh, a better construction plan to support AI and non-AI workloads. Um, of course, interesting in light of the ongoing conversation about artificial intelligence. Um, and so just to look at the, um, the operating expense, I'm sorry, the, the restructuring here and the impact, the company says here that if they excluded that restructuring charge, the diluted EPS would have been $1.24 higher for the fourth quarter. Um, and, and that's part of this, uh, the, the comparison in here. Um, there's a lot more on Outlook, but I'll be back to you in a minute uh, with that as well, Scott. Let me just ask you a question, too, and, and, and forgive me for doing this on the fly. I know it's difficult as you're going through everything. It looks like the guidance on revenue is pretty decent, too. 26 to 28 and a half billion dollars for the first quarter. Street was at 27. Yep. Uh, so, right. you know, the, the high end is obviously higher than their, their number was. So, so, yes, that's right. So they're guiding for uh, revenue in the first quarter between 26 and 28 and a half uh, billion. That's important because remember that Snap just guided to lower first quarter revenue than analysts had been expecting. They also are in the CFO outlook commentary here um, talking about how the expenses will be lower than what they had previously said. Now they're saying the full year 2023 total expenses will be in the range of 89 to 95 billion, lowered from the prior outlook of 94 to 100 hundred billion dollars. Um, so really lowering the expenses there. And they're saying that they now expect to record an estimated billion dollars in restructuring charges in 2023 related mm. to consolidating the offices, office facilities footprint. They also lower the capital expenditures range to between 30 and 33 billion, lowered from the prior estimates of 34 to 37 billion. So while their revenue is continuing um, to, to be in the range that analysts had hoping for, they're also bringing down those expenses. And we see that is resulting in the stock popping over 13 percent, Scott. Oh, I'm glad you brought that to us as well. Come back on with us uh, the moment you have anything else. Julia, thank you. Let's bring in Meta shareholder now, Stephanie Link. She is Hightower's chief investment strategist. What's, what's your reaction here? Yeah, I mean, it was pretty It was pretty good. I was really nervous because the stock rallied 27% year to date, and it's up 68% from the November 3rd lows. That being said, it's still down 50% from a year ago, Scott. So it still has a ways to go to catch up, and the numbers are good. You guys talked about the revenue. Revenue came basically in line on the high side of Guide. So the Guide was 30 to 32.5 billion. They came in at 32.17, so pretty close. DAU certainly happy. I kind of expected that, but it all has to do with expenses on this at this company, right? We know that they are too high. They have been too high forever. So the fact is that they're lowering total expenses pretty substantially. Mm -hmm. That's actually more than I thought, to 89 to 95 billion from 94 to 100. That's pretty impressive. And of course, CapEx too. By the way, I, I think I saw that they also are announcing a $40 billion buyback program. So that's also pretty positive.